What's up everybody, Jan Letters here back with another tutorial video. I'm going to show you guys how to use the transform tool. And with the transform tool you can create stuff like this with, or this, or this. I posted these on my Instagram uh, a while ago in 2021. And I'm going to show you guys how they are created in Illustrator. So, open Illustrator for that. Go to the left toolbar and click on the polygon tool. Click one time on the artboard, set the sides to 10 and press on OK. Scale this one a little bit down with holding Option and Shift. Select it, go to Effect, go to Distort and Transform and click on Transform. To use the transform tool um, with this object correctly, you have to make sure the fill color is set to none. So we are going to set the horizontal scale to 95, the vertical scale to 95 as well. And we're going to set the angle to minus five. And we are going to create some copies I'm going for 35, something like that. That looks quite good. So we can adjust the line stroke thickness over here. We can select the object with the white direct selection tool. And we can still adjust the object. So we are going to drag these corners in a little bit. So you can see these waves flowing over into each other so this is how we create the first optical illusion and now we are going to create the second one the second one is also created with the transform and distort and transform tool and for this one we are going to use six sides so we want to rotate this one 270 degrees so the angle is pointing up select it go to effect effect again distort and transform and click on transform okay this panel opens again the transform effect and then we are going to make scale these a little bit more down as in the previous one we're going to set this to 85 and we are going to set the angle to 10 we are going to set this to 80 by the way press on oh oh no we may want to give it a few copies we are going for seven and to be honest I am going to set these to 85. Okay, press on OK. Make the stroke thickness 1. And we can now still adjust the shape. We could also like stretch these out and play with this. Create some nice optical illusions. But for now we are going with this shape. We are going to drag these a little bit in, these white bullet points. So you can uh, give rounded edges to the corners. Okay, select the object, go to object, expand appearance and press on shift M. This activates the shape builder tool. And now we can create our shapes with the shape builder tool. Okay, so this is how we create the second object. <laughs> and now we are going to create the third and final object, which is this one, the spiral looking wavy object. Looks quite cool. We are going to click and hold 
on the forms over here and we are going to select the line segment tool and we are going to drag a line with holding shift select the line uh, go to effect and before we are going to the transform tool we are going to use the zigzag tool make sure the points are smooth this way creates these nice waves in it we are going to decrease the size of the zigzag a little bit i think something like five points is all right we are going to increase the stroke thickness a little bit and we can use the width tool to extend the widths on the end okay select the object go to effect and now we are going to use the transform tool so for this uh, object we are only going to use the angle but first make sure this white box on the bottom is selected then the object is going to rotate from the bottom part of the object when we should use this one it would going to rotate from the top part of the object so set the angle to somewhere around 10 I'm not sure yet make some copies and now add some lines to it okay this looks quite good and now we are still able to change the line thickness of the object so you can play a little bit and you can already see the optical illusion appear okay so this is how you use the transform tool hope you guys learned something if you did please drop a like follow the channel and i'll see you in my next video peace